Hey everybody, it's time for Manifesting Monday from Coming Out Tarot. This week is going to bring some new and, for some of you, revisited lessons. Lessons come back if you don't learn the first time. I just, this experience happens over and over again. I see it in all the readings I do, almost the majority of them, and in my own. Why, and why do they even come back? Why do they, because it's part of your journey. And if you don't learn the lesson the first time, it's going to come back. And that just, it's, it's, it's almost like a law. You know, that it's just going to keep coming. Now, here's some things to watch out for. I think there are interpersonal, personal, and transpersonal lessons that are coming this week. And here are some of them. The interpersonal, be prepared, set boundaries, relationships are important. The personal, be honest with yourself, change is inevitable, and control is an illusion my biggest one. And the transpersonal is going to be you impact your destiny and your choice. You want to know which one's aligned with your sign? Check out patreon.com slash coming out tarot. That's where I go into the detail about all of this where you can find out more. In the moment, I'd like to share with you a little bit about the energy that is here this week for your sign so you have something that you can pay attention to, hang on to. But if you want to know how to implement that, then definitely go over to Patreon. So major energies this week is uh, from, uh, why can't I remember the name of the deck that I'm using? I'll remember in a second, is death. So the, the opportunity, the overarching energy is to stop holding on and to let go. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about your signs in particular, and you can carry that energy in and layer it into this. For Aries, you've got the Ace of Cups. You want to lead with love this week. For Taurus, we've got Justice. You want to be transparent. There's a lot going on here, Taurus. For Gemini, we've got the Eight of Discs. Not an Eight of Discs. Some of you might be used to seeing. The self-awareness this week is going to be key. It, ooh, there's so much around that self-awareness that um, is going to be huge this week for you, Gemini. And I know you've got it in you. You just got to like lean into it. Cancer, the Ace of Wands. The energy here is use sex to your advantage. Leo, our next uh, energy is the Queen of Discs. Isn't that a beautiful card? I love this card. The Queen of Discs, uh, let it be organic. Whatever it is that you're doing, let it be organic. Virgo, this is going to be fun. Uh, Lovers is your card. Let destiny be your guide this week. It sounds a little Jiminy Cricket, but uh, it's time for destiny to to step in. It doesn't mean you're not a part of it, though. Libra, page of swords. Select your words very carefully. Scorpio, we're going to lean into the Hierophant. We were talking about the Hierophant in spaces this week. Uh, if you, it seems, Hierophant seems to come up frequent, especially for queer people. So um, the Hierophant has a lot going on with it. But for Scorpio this week, guide the children. Bring them in. Guide them. Sag, Sag uh, your energy is brought to you by the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, and I completely lost what my note is. Hang on. Move towards change. It's time to move towards change. Then uh, we're moving into Capricorn. It's the sun. I want you to keep moving forward. Doesn't mean don't pay attention, but keep moving forward. Aquarius, it's your season still. We've got uh, the Empress guiding you here. Prepare to bring something new into the world. There was some cool stuff around the Empress that came up for that for the how to do this. So check that out on Patreon. And Pisces, we've got the Two of Wands. I don't know if you can see these these trees have um, personification in them and there's also little humans everywhere and I'm in the branches and they're all connected. Isn't that a beautiful Two of Wands? Two of Wands, uh, Pisces, get moving. All right. While death is the biggest energy here that's saying... Stop holding on, let go. When you layer in all that other energy, there's a lot of shifts that are happening. And don't forget, we talked about how there's lessons happening. So not only are there big shifts, there's things that you're experiencing that are intense lessons. So um, as you go through the week, give yourself some grace some patience and uh, know that this is, this is necessary 
in order to be ready for what's to come next. Thanks, everybody.